Today we're going to talk about how to make your own dock lines. Uh, obviously I'm not talking about making the entire rope because that's beyond my skill set, but if you buy just a spool of line, you can whip your ends, burn them with a hot knife, and then also make eye splices, and that's kind of what we're going to go through today. For the whipped end, uh, you want to whip it so that later on when you're actually using it the rope doesn't start fraying and come apart and eventually it will all unwind all the way down unless you burn it will help you and then also whipping the line will help and what i mean by whipping is we're going to take some twine and wrap it around the end tight so that it keeps everything together so in the end it should look like this instead of like this for the tools you need you'll need a set of scissors a needle some waxed twine a lighter and other needles if you need those and also your line i'm using three quarter inch dock line right now uh, but it, this works for any line that you have on the boat so the first thing you want to do is pull enough twine to complete the whipping uh, since this is three quarters i just basically use two full lengths but it will depend on the size of rope you have the first step what you want to do is make a open loop and then you're going to place the loop onto the line and you want to start everything is generally the width of the rope so whatever rope you're working with whether it's three quarter or a half inch or whatever go that distance up and start so we'll go about three quarters of an inch up and again it doesn't have to be precise and then you're just going to start wrapping the twine around your line you want it uh, tight and snug, but you don't need to strangle it. So we, you'll do one, and then you'll just keep wrapping around again until you get about the diameter of your line. So in this case, we're gonna try to do about a three quarter inch set of wraps. And you wanna get all the wraps uh, right next to each other, so it's almost building a wall. Get them all smooth and next to each other until you get to your desired length. Now that we have the whipping done around the line, the next step is to take the bitter end, run it through the loop, and then you're just going to kind of snug this up. So now that that's through the loop, you'll pull the other tail, and what you're doing is you're pulling this loop about halfway down the whipped line. And you, you're probably not going to see it on the camera, but you will see it when you're actually doing it. So pull it about halfway through, and then snug it up, pull on both ends. And now we're going to start threading. So the first thread is going to be here at the bottom, and you're going to push it in directly across. So it's going to go out 180 degrees from where you go in. And again, you're going in right where the loop was that we just put underneath all the twine. Now you want to come out just below all your other whipping as close as you can uh, without coming through the, the, the other twine. You're going to pull this through. So pull it all the way until you have just a little bit of tail there. All right. So after you get done with that, when the next one is going to be directly above where you just exit it, you go in, again 180 degrees over. And when you do that, you end up with a line that is parallel to the main line, and that's what you're looking for. Now for this one, you're gonna come down, directly below where you just exited it. However, now you're gonna go over and you're gonna exit out 90 degrees over. So you're not going all the way through the rope, you're just exiting at an angle. Pull through. You got a nice parallel layer again. And now you're going to go directly above from where you just exited it. And now directly below. And you should come out right where you started. 
Now since we did that 145 degree angle, you have four parallel lines that go all the way around the twine. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Now we will cut these, burn them, and then press it into the other twine so it kind of sticks since it's waxed twine. It's not just regular rope. And there we have our whipped bitter end for our dock lines. And next we'll do the ice splice. Now I'm ready to see, I'm ready. 